Harish Monrad here. Uh, as you may know, I just uh, came back from a trip to the US. Um, I was awarded this trip through my participation in the Wild Jaeger Pro staff. Uh, I joined the team in uh, 2020 and uh, made Pro Staff of the Year for that season. And uh, as, as usual, the Pro Staff of the Year will be awarded a trip to the US or in the case of the US uh, members, uh, a trip to the Europe. I had a great, great, great trip, folks. Um, the hunting was awesome, more on that later. Um, and uh, I really, really enjoyed experiencing this new country from the living room um, of a family rather than uh, any hotel room or whatever. Uh, the things I got to experience was real. Uh, there's like no tourist traps or anything. Uh, it's pretty much real raw America uh, and I enjoyed every second of it. On the last day uh, Ricky wanted me to do something uh, well I'd say I'd probably call it really 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 American. Um, <laughs> we were supposed to go shoot in a black powder rifle um, and while we have black powder rifles up here too and we're even allowed to hunt with them but we don't we have rifles and uh, we don't have uh, any reason to hunt with uh, with black powder rifles other than interests perhaps in the US however uh, they have their own hunting seasons for black powder rifles and in some areas like uh, Onondaga County where I was staying uh, they're not allowed to shoot normal high power rifles uh, because of the risk of ricochets. So then you're stuck with uh, bows, shotguns and black powder rifles. With black powder rifles being able to make clean shots uh, flat and straight out to 150 meters, uh, that's pretty much your go-to uh, for anything not bow range. With us on the shooting range we brought the four stable sticks carbon and it performed great. Enjoy! Alright folks, Rick Mills here. We've got Marius Munrad in from Norway. It's his last day in the United States and we love nothing more than to Get a guy on the 50 cal muzzle loader on the last day. Norberg did it last year. This muzzle loader is already loaded from the end of my whitetail season. I'm gonna empty it out. We've got a couple rounds. You've got your projectile and two caps of uh, white powder. And that gets, the powder gets loaded into the barrel and then you take the ramrod, ram it home, just like in the Civil War, Revolutionary War. <laughs> Once it's loaded, next thing we got to do is get a cap. Got a bunch of caps here. We're going to grab one cap. These are a pain in the butt. I'm hoping to uh, get a more modern muzzle loader this fall. I use a set of needle nose and I'll grab this right here and you'll watch what I do is lock that back, turn it upside down and I'm trying to load this on top of here. You can see it right there. And it can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Once I get it in there, I'll seat it well. That is ready to fire. Now, it's got a safety. All right? Yep. So red is danger, green is good to go. Yep. If I was to pull that trigger right now. So one of the things we do when we're walking around in the woods, when we're hunting, to be safe, is we'll go ahead, hold the bolt back, pull the trigger, and we'll ride that forward. All right? And that's how we'll walk around in the woods. When we see a deer, we'll cock it, and we're ready to shoot. Come up, get on the deer, pull the trigger. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead, hold the bolt back, decock, nice and easy. And Morris is getting ready to shoot this thing. We'll be shooting these from the four stable stakes last year. Norberg shot from a seated position. This year, we're gonna do standing shots only, Morris is going to. Four stable sticks and a muzzle loader. Getting ready to get it done. 
Right. Did you get the distance yet? Yeah, 60 meters. 60? All right, we might have to back up. That seems pretty easy. Yeah. Good start, though. All right, what are we doing? Go ahead. Yeah. It's not bad of a kick at all, believe it or not. It's not. Some smoke, though. <laughs> How was that? That's fun. All right, did you hit it, Marius? Oh, yeah, we got that thing. I'm not quite pleased for, well, we're like an inch up and left, but we'll do better. All right, not too bad for a 60 meter standing shot. Most All right. Loader. Now Morris is gonna reload his muzzle loader himself. Okay. We ready? So what we're gonna do is you need to you're gonna put the powder in first. Yep. So yep. take that out in your hand. Like this? Yep. Yep. And go ahead, take each one of those, drop it down the tube. Now pull out the uh it's a boat. Yep. Yep. Set it in the barrel. See if you can press it down a little bit. If not, now pull your ramrod. Alright, go ahead and put that on top. And try to force it down. Let's see here. Come on. Hey. Big man. <laughs> oh, there we go. There you go. It'll start, go. Start to happen there now. There we go. There we go. Now all the way. Okay, now. Anybody who owns muzzle loader, they make marks on their ramrod so you know when you get to that line, it's seated well. If you get down there, if you look, it needs another quarter of an inch. So the best thing to do is get something and put it on your hand. Yep. I'll let you use my hat. Yep. You don't damage your hand. Put a couple okay. layers of, between your hand and the thing. Go ahead and press that real hard. You'll feel it at that last. Should be good. Okay, go ahead and pull your ramrod out. Okay, put it back in its ramrod storage space. <laughs> okay, now you're gonna load your cap. So you got the cap back. Yep. Go ahead and get one cap. Yep. Now you're gonna want the muzzle loader upside down. I recommend you stand back there. Yep. Take this, feed it into your shoulder. I use these. Yep. Grab the cap by the rim. Oh yeah, you want to get that old one out. It's easier once it's out. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Some old stuff. With my fingers. Yeah, you're not gonna do it with those fat fingers. <laughs> no. Those Norwegian fingers are not gonna get in there. <laughs> so much easier with a set of needle nose. Yep. We keep these. My brother gives me these. We carry when we're out hunting. We'll have several loads. So you shoot one, you stop, and that's a rush. You know, if you hit a deer and it's still doing its thing, boom, you're up, reloading, ramrodding. You're hoping that that deer doesn't go too far. So here's three. I had mine loaded. This is the second one. We got two more. So this is what Marius is going to shoot today. Four total shots. See if we get them all in the orange. I think after this one, we'll do one more with yours since you loaded it. Yeah. I think we're gonna back up on the third one to 100 and maybe back up on the uh, fourth one. Sounds good. Should be accurate. Muzzle loader's flat and straight out to 150. My brother and I have sighted this muzzle loader in specifically at 150. All right, you got the cap in there? Yep. Okay, here we go. Nice and steady, yep. Nice and easy. <laughs> that smoke cloud, dude. <laughs> Look at the smile on that face. <laughs> kind of pulled the trigger now, but that smoke cloud, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, Norbert had the smoke coming back into his face, so it was, it just billowed. We got, we have a little wind today, so it's not so bad. All right, what do you think? Yeah. For standing shot with a black powder rifle, I'm quite happy. And those four stable sticks. Not bad grouping for 60 meters. Let's push it out to 100. Yeah, let's do it.
Oh, this is only 75, Rick. We gotta go a little more. Oh. There we go. <laughs> One tip. Put these guys on. <laughs> totally forgot to put, <laughs> put my iron protection on there. <laughs> but uh, these black powder rifles, gentle push. The bang isn't that bad either. It's like a more like a thunder, not the whip crack of the rifle. Yeah, now we're only putting two of those powder in there. Some guys will hunt with three, okay. Let's and then whatever they're message. shooting with, we're not taking shots over like 150 out here. So two's fine. And we're comfortable with that. So sure. it's not too bad, huh? Hey, oh. give them a road ear call. Show them how a road ear sounds. <laughs> There's no road ear here though. Nothing's oh. gonna come running at us in New York. Yeah, because we were shooting a little high and left. Yeah, we were. If I was a betting man, I'd say we probably shot high left off the target. Yeah, I guess. Maybe if you shoot the bottom right quadrant. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna do. Everybody's sure. everybody's zero is different. Yeah, you yeah. know, I've got it zeroed for me. So. Yeah, this rifle shoots uh, up and left for me. Well, I'll take that any day. I'll take any deer. Uh, as we see, it's a bit high, but it's zero for 150, so I, I'd say we're good. Well, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed my redneck moment. Uh, I, I had a great time, and as any uh, member on Wild Jaeger team, I love shooting guns. Any guns, any bows, um, just shooting. As you could clearly see, I've never shot a black powder rifle in my life, never reloaded a black powder rifle in my life, uh, but it's just really quite basic, and uh, if you know uh, what drives a bullet and how stuff works it's pretty much uh, well it's quite easy actually and apart from some uh, zeroing issues you know the gun wasn't zeroed to me at all um, I think we did really well the um, accuracy of that gun uh, amazing uh, and the, the, the four stable sticks really performed if you haven't tried a black powder rifle before I strongly suggest you do uh, great great fun but more important than anything else, if you haven't tried the four stable stakes yet, do so. They're amazing. I wouldn't be able to shoot like that standing up with a black powder rifle without them. So uh, check them out and uh, give them a try. See ya!